Good morning, Cupcake. <laughs> well, I guess you have no way of knowing the time of day down here. Huh. Well, it is morning, so... Good morning. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Still giving me the silent treatment, huh? How boring. Ugh. You've been pulling on the chains again as well? I can tell. Your joints are red and rubbed raw. Your poor wrists. I wonder if you still have any fight left in you. Permission to approach? Oh, I love that look in your eyes. I'd be lying if I said seeing you like this doesn't make me hungry. But stress ruins meat, and ruins love too. So, here. Yeah. Is a tray of food. Your favourites, actually. And, of course, a cupcake baked just for you. Oh, and here. It's some cream. It should help your wrists. You can apply it yourself. I'd do it for you, but I don't think you'd like that. You should eat. I'm a great chef, you know. And, luckily for you, that extends to non-human meat. And sweet treats, too. Don't make me feed you. You'll hate it a lot more than you hate this. I promise. <laughs> yes, it's not human. Please, I would never feed you human without your permission. I'll wait until you want to try it. <laughs> never say never, Cupcake. It always comes back to bite you in the butt. So, are you going to eat? Good Cupcake. Mm. What? I can't sit with you while you have your meal? We're never gonna get to know each other better if you keep pushing me away, you know. Why am I doing this? Have I not made it clear? I guess I never explicitly said it, but I never expected you to be so dense, Cupcake. <laughs> I love you. I want you by my side to be my partner forever and ever. But unfortunately, I knew you wouldn't respond to the whole cannibal thing very well. So I thought it would be best to bring you here and give you time to process the fact. And of course, being here means you can't go tell the police or anything like that. Not that they believe you. <laughs> Unfortunately, it also means I won't be able to get new prey for a while. But I'm sure I'll manage. I stocked up a little for the occasion. <laughs> when did I start eating human? Hmm... I guess, since I was little, my family was in, well, in a cult. <laughs> they weren't a cannibal cult or anything like that. Just a very close-knit community that believed food should be hunted, killed, then cooked as a way to respect the process of getting your own food. A uh, hunter-gatherer ideal, basically. 
Don't eat what you can't catch yourself. My mother, she was the head cook. And my father was a hunter. So I'd spend mornings learning to hunt with him. Making traps. Learning bird calls. Stuff like that. Learning how to use weapons, yada yada. And then, once we caught something, I'd cook the catches for my mother. The food was delicious. And I never went hungry. Until one winter. It just never seemed to end. Food was running low and Usually those who couldn't catch something and cook it for the community would disappear. I used to think they'd get kicked out for failing to provide. And then came the day me and my father couldn't find anything. We had no idea what would happen. So we went to my mother. And she assured us we in fact did have meat. I still don't know where she got it. Or who she got it from. So I cooked the meat with her like normal. But when I ate it, it tasted different. It tasted so good. In fact, Everyone loved it. We were addicted to it. And I was too. Then, when I was a little older, my mom showed me how she got the meat when we couldn't hunt anything. Turns out, we had livestock all around us. At that point, I was too addicted to the taste to even care about what she was doing. And the rest is history. I left the community when I was a teenager, ran away. I haven't seen my family since. They could be dead or alive. I have no idea. But in the end, I could never get rid of that craving. I built a new life and built a new way to see. I built a new life and found a secure way to maintain my addiction. Sorry, I must have put you off your food, huh? You don't have to finish the rest. I'll bring you something different later. What? Don't I feel sorry for the people I eat? <laughs> no cupcake. Not at all. I couldn't care less. You see, that's the thing that makes me different from you, cupcake. Is I don't have that moral compass you have. I see no value in a human life over an animal life. It's kind of like how some people prefer eating beef than pork. And you know, if a mouse gets caught in a trap, it's gonna die. So, if I catch a human in my trap, I don't deserve a second chance. <laughs> At least to me. Oh. Except you, of course. I'd give you as many chances as you need, because you're gonna be with me forever. <laughs> oh, Cupcake. You really see me as evil, huh? Well, don't worry. I'm still the girl you liked. Went on dates with, cuddled with told your secrets to. I still love you. I just want you to be my lover and accept every part of me. And 
this was the easiest way to secure that goal. So, as soon as you love me, life will become so much easier for both of us. We can live upstairs together, cook together, go on dates. It'll be perfect. And you'll look at me just as you used to. Because I know, deep down inside, part of you still loves me. This is just gonna take some getting used to. But we'll make it through this rough patch, darling. I promise. Well, I've got some business I need to attend to. Gotta go defrost some meat for dinner. Mine, not yours. But I'll come see you soon, darling. And if you want to see me sooner, all you have to do is ring that bell. I'll come running. Bye-bye, cupcake. Hey, it's me, Mia Boo. <laughs> I don't usually do this at the end of my videos, but I um, want to... I, I don't know. Um, if you like the video, please let me know. Comments literally fuel me. And um, yeah, I'm not going to stop you from your ASMR experience, so... Bye-bye.